In this video, we'll be discussing the Smart Websites app. Um, this app allows you to create stunning websites effortlessly by providing drag and drop simplicity, responsive designs, and comprehensive SEO tools for online visibility. All right, let's jump right in. If you took a look at our ultra fast funnels video, I'll put a link in the description to take a look at that. The design is very similar to the ultra fast funnels app. So the difference between funnels and websites, funnels is basically used for sales. So if you have a particular product or service that you want to sell and you want to promote that on social media and in ads, then a funnel will be the best place to, a funnel will be the best thing to build, I should say. As far as websites, websites is basically used to illustrate your entire offering um, to clients and prospects. So the list all of your services. So that's what a website is for. Uh, websites are pretty traditional. Funnels now, funnels are, are more so used for sales. And that's what we use um, today, but we provide options to do either. So the interface is, is the same as we have with the ultra funnels, but it doesn't include like any of the AI uh, functionality here. So this is more of a manual process. So if you look at the top tabs, you, the first tab is all websites. So when you create multiple websites, all your websites will be listed here. The shared websites is a website that we make public to, to you. So we provide you with a shared link and we uh, will publish uh, templates that we'll, we'll put here that you'll be able to access. And um, the archives, if you have an archive of website, then it'll go into your archives tab that you can retrieve at a later time. So to create a website, what you can do is, again, you can either import the website shared URL that we provide to, to you whenever um, new templates come out, or you can create a new website, which we'll be doing right now. So let's click on that, give it a title. We'll just call this one test site and hit next. All right, and then we have these uh, pre-built templates. So you can use any one of these templates. Again, we'll be rolling out some specific, some industry specific sites, or you can um, create one, create a blank one. Okay, so let's preview this one for now and take a quick look at it. And we can look at this site and you can see how um, the, you have images, you can um, set up a video on the top. So if you have a video for your uh, offering, then you can add your logo up here and, um, it's pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty standard site, but let's close out of this one and let's, oops, well, check the out, but let's <laughs> test website again, hit next. And, uh, let, let's look at this one. Actually, let's just, let's just select this one. Cause I like this, uh, this site. Okay. Uh, when you select the site, it'll load the template and, um, we can open it from here. Okay. So once we open the website. Then you have these options. So on, on, on the left, the menu on the left is the home page. And if you have any other pages, you can add the additional pages as well. On the top, you have your overview where you can overview the, the page, set up automations. The automations tab allows you to add the email or if you want to get SMS notifications when um, someone goes on your site and they leave their information, you can set that up as well. If you sell any products, you can add your Stripe integration here as well. So when someone pays you, um, your Stripe will be automatically triggered so that that the um, the visitor can um, initiate payment. Then you have publishing. So this publishing, um, you can change the path instead of home. You can change to, you know, whatever um, you like there as well. If we go into the top tabs, then we can look at the actual pages. Then that there's a tab you are now. You can look at statistics so you can see um, anyone who visited your site, any conversion rates. Again, if you sell any products, you can look at the contacts tab. This the contacts tab will be anyone that left their information on your site. So it'll be listed here. And then you have the option to download it and export it to a CSV file. And you also have options to search anyone that, um, any, all of your leads that came on your site. And, and this is sales. So again, if any sales were made, if you sell any products, you can download that information and, and as a CSV and you'll be able to have a visual of any products that you sold. And in settings, this is where you can add your domain. So this would link to our domains app. And in the domains app, you have the option to add your domain. So if you, you know, have a domain with GoDaddy, you can add that existing domain here. Um, but, um, yeah, let's go back to the, sorry, let's go back to settings. This is also where you can save your Favcon. So if you don't know what a Favcon is, is that whenever you look at a tab, like say in uh, Google Chrome, you'll see like a little icon next to it. So most people just elect to put their logo there as the Favcon. As far as webhooks, if you uh, want to do some type of automation, so like when a lead comes in, if you wanted to automatically go to like your CRM, or if you wanted to go to your email or set up any type of drip campaigns, things like that, you can um, set up a webhook. And webhook is uh, through either Zapier or you can use a program like Make, for example, Make.com, where you can add the webhook here, and that information will be transferred to that um, automation. Uh, you know, I do a lot of videos on that as well. You can check out the website; you can see some things that I do there as well. And the website name, 
Um, you can change it from the test website. You can change it to anything that you like and just hit save after any of these functionalities and you'll be able to update, do updates on your site. All right, so now let's jump into the actual page. We can go into the editor. And if you want to take a quick preview of the page, just click this preview option and it'll uh, load it for you. Again, this is just a, uh, a temporary domain that we use for testing. But again, you will want, want to connect your personal domain. You could like fordemannotaries.com or any domain that you purchase um, outside to like GoDaddy or, or um, a service like that. Eventually, we'll be giving you the option to purchase directly through this site. So that way you can keep everything under one house and then you can add the domain. But to preview the website, you just click on this uh, preview tab. It'll open up the website, the new tab. And this is the site. OK, so let's go. Let's go back, actually, and let's try to do some editing. So if you click on the edit page option, it'll open up the website editor. And here's where you can um, make changes. So for every picture, if you just double click on the picture, um, actually, this is the background. But if you look, double click on the picture, it'll allow you to go and add a picture. If the picture is not already in your um, your vault, then you can upload the picture manually to um, click on upload and you can upload the picture there. OK, so let's say if you wanted to change this picture to to this, we can do that. And to change any wording, you just double click on it and change the wording. And you can um, update, update each one of these fields. If you want to adjust the fonts, you can go to the or, or to the right into this menu here. There's a general options where you can change the color. You can change the alignment if you want it to be centered or, or right justified. And this gives you options to change padding, font sizes. And if you go to the advanced tab is where you can um, add some additional um, advanced features. As you scroll down, if you want to um, like say add like add a link to any of these buttons here for your service, you could just go um, the, click on the button and then you can change this um, href right now. This button is going to lead to a different section of the page. That's why you see the hashtag 871XV <laughs> that'll lead to, I believe, the bottom section, which is here, which is like the contact us section. So actually, we can even take a look at it here when you go to the preview here. If we click, if we go on the top and we click a uh, schedule a consultation, it'll drop us down to the section of the page. And um, same thing for number five. So you'll basically add all your services. And then when they click schedule consultation, it'll lead them to the contact for contact us um, section of your page. If you want to delete anything, any section, say you only had like two services that you offer and not the five that's listed here, you could just click on the section, hit, uh, hit delete, and it'll delete the section. If for any reason you made that a mistake, you can just click this undo and it'll bring, bring everything back. Okay. If there's elements that you want to add, you can just click the elements here and then you can add different um, sections that you want here. Again, there's a plethora of different options that you can do. So you can go in and see whatever you need for your site and you can add it here as well. On the bottom of this page, I believe there is a map function right here. Perfect. That's what I want to point out. So on the map function, when you go to the events uh, tabs, it's set for Toronto. But say you are in Miami, you could just type in Miami. And once you type in Miami, it'll refresh the map to Miami. If you want to, let me click on it again. If you want to, instead of doing a roadmap, you want to do, have it look like a satellite, you can do that as well. And if you want to like zoom in on a specific area of Miami that you want, you can do that. You can just use the zoom feature and it'll zoom in or same, likewise, it'll zoom out. If you want to show the tire, oh, that's a little too far. But if you want to zoom out a little bit more in Miami, you can do that as well. So you can do that obviously for any state or any anywhere that you like. And, um, and that's pretty awesome. So of course, any anything, any tab that you see here, you can, you can add uh, like links, like for the social media tab, if we click on, um, the, uh, advanced and, uh, you could, um, add hyperlinks to any one of these fields. Okay. Um, you could change it. If you don't want to have a Facebook, you can change it to, you know, any social media, um, icon that you like right now, we have LinkedIn, Twitter and, or X, I should say, and, um, Facebook, but you could change or remove it as needed, but you get the gist of how this website, is, how everything Function, functions. If you double click, if you double click on any of the fields, you can add, you can um, change the wording. If you know how to use any basic word at any type of um, text editor, this will be simple, simple to use. Okay, so you can pretty much get your site set up within a few few minutes, as long as you understand the wording, and you can use um, some of our other uh, features to to get the wording for this. Like for example, you can use our um, our hook, our hook. Um, our magic hooks app. So if you want to create um, a magic hook here, you can do that here as well. And um, you can um, use that they are AI to get the wording for this as well. OK. All right. One other one last feature I'd like to, to, to share is the split testing. So if you wanted to create a duplicate site here, 
you can do that so that way you can split test so that way that way whenever someone goes to your site um either one of those pages will load and then over time you can look at the statistics <laughs> to see which site performs better and then you can make that your main site okay well i hope that um you were able to find some value here to see the power of our um smart websites app feel free to um ask the team any questions i look forward to seeing you in the next video until next time peace